All right, first off, I'd like to thank for tuning the channel today. Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't done it. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna hook up my equipment and just go through the steps and go through why I chose the equipment I chose. Uh, of course, I have a video on the Sidewinder. You can see you can do a 90 degree turn with it. Um, I like that the pivot points move back. There's another video that shows how the camper reacts quicker, a little bit more like a bumper pull because of that pivot point being moved back. You can check that video out if you want. Um, but today, basically, why I chose the bed cover I chose, why I chose the hitch, the sidewinder and all the equipment I'm running and what I go through in the process of hooking my stuff up. Okay, so on the sidewinder, if you look, I'm gonna flip this around, right here, there is a wedge and this wedge is already preset for my hitch so I never have to mess with that again. There's a pin right here and then a swivel that moves that wedge in and out. So if you get a different hitch, you might need a different wedge or you might need a different adjustment. Once it's set up for your hitch, you're good to go. And if you ever wanted to use the Sidewinder as a standard hitch, you can just remove this wedge and it docks here. And then I've got two bolts, little bolt right here. And then you can use it as a standard um, fifth wheel hitch. Okay, in the back of the truck, which I've seen, I have the Reese M5, the 20K, and it's always ready to receive. What that means is I don't have to get up there. I don't have to open it. I don't have to do anything. I basically can back under my camper and it will lock and if you go around here right now one of the really things things i like about this hitch is if you see see the red mark right there it says not ready to tow when that's green it's ready to tow i'm going to put a camera on here when i back under it you're going to see how that works okay for the bed cover i ran the retracts and the reason is is the back flip when you flip it up it stacks up about this high and so when you do a 90 degree turn it's gonna hit under the tongue of your camp, your camper. So it's one of the reasons I chose the retracts. The second reason I chose the retracts is I can see my hitch with the retracts when it's all the way open. So I like being able to use that camera for lining up. All right, one thing we're gonna talk about is this, this, this step right here, okay? Ford has implemented this on their vehicles. Um, you know, I guess if you've got a mall crawler and you don't do much of hooking up goosenecks or fifth wheels, then yeah, it may not be something that's in your favor, but I'm telling you to be able to come up to your vehicle, step right here, step on the tire, and reach your hitch, reach anything in your bed. If you were pinning a gooseneck, that step is very handy. I really like it. I'm glad Ford implemented it. Okay, so I've got a camera set up so y'all be able to see when that latches. When I'm gonna back up, one of the things I just checked is see this swivels. So kind of want to be centered up and I want to come in at the right angle on it. So if I'm centered, I want to come in pretty straight because that wedge, you can't go in and crooked. You're going to have to back in at whatever angle this is. So that's fine if you're coming in from the side and you're going to back under it this way, but you still got to be perfectly straight in line with it this way. So you can move that where you want it. I'm going to come in straight like that. All right, let's go hop in the truck. Okay, so we're going to back under the deal. We need to select the right camera right here. So we go into our display. It's gonna be that one, right? Now we can see what we've got going on. up and I'm gonna replay that video for you but if you look right there you can see the green that means we're good to go So the next thing I do when I'm hooking up is I'm running the ready air airbags right there. And I've got the 
airlift wireless compressor. All right. I'm going to bump that up to about 65, 70 PSI. Okay. That'll start lifting. And that way I don't have to run my jacks. I just let the air pick it up for the most part. And then you check under here. You make sure your dog is pinned. Everything looks good. got our fifth wheel prep in this truck so we've got the connector right there get that hooked up this is going to pin with the hitch and I usually just pin my cable right here Okay, so now I'm back in the truck. What you're gonna do right here is you turn this. If you look, you've got your battery voltmeter right there in the dash on the far right. When I turn it to tow mode, you'll see your trans temp come up. Tow mode's on. Then on my Derringer, generally it's level three. I'll usually pull in level two. Come over here to your roadie camper. That's what we've got. That's gonna recall my brake gain settings, as you can see. There's your tire pressures on the camper right there if you see them. It shows your tire pressure and the temperature. So we've got 77, 75, 75, and 74. So tire status is okay. If it wasn't, it would let me know. Um, there's a lot of light checks and you can put your maintenance and stuff in there if you want. That's pretty much here in the truck. All I've got to do besides turn your exhaust brake on. All right, so I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Just wanted to showcase some of the technology that these new trucks have and kind of how to use it, you know, hooking up to your RV, towing your RV, all those good things. I did run a, um, about an hour and a half run after we hooked the trailer up the other day, and I did record the um, tire pressure um, deals so y'all could see how hot the tires got on about a 90 degree day, about an hour and a half run. You know, there's a lot into having that temperature, which is really nice. You know, if you've got a brake that's sticking or you've got a wheel bearing that's going out, you know, you got a tire that's got a nail in it, it's lost air before it blows out. You know, the, those aftermarket trailer TPMS systems, even if you don't have the newest, fanciest truck, you can go get one of those systems very inexpensively off e-trailer or something like that. Put those sensors in your tires. If you protect those blowouts, I mean, I've had toy haulers and large campers, and you know, when you blow those tires out, it gets expensive. Um, it just tears a lot up. And ever since I've ran these systems, I've not had a blowout. And uh, I do choose it, my specific tires to meet my needs, and I've got a video coming out on that. So subscribe, hit that notification if you haven't done it, because we've got that video coming out here pretty quick. Don't want you to miss it. Okay, so this photo right here shows a 59 degree day. This was after about an hour and a half on the highway and what the temperatures got to on the tires. And uh, you can see the pressures didn't come up extremely. I think they were set at like 78 to 81. The next photo is gonna show a uh, warmer temperature. Okay, so this photo shows an 86 degree day and you can definitely tell we were getting up to the 140s, 150s on temperature. So we'll talk about that in our tire rating video next but just wanted to show the difference between a 59 degree day and an 86 degree day. But this video, like I said, wanted to show the technology, this GMC truck. One thing I will give this truck credit for is it tows great. It feels good. The transmission always knows where to be. The power's there. And, um, you know, it, it, it's a joy, it's a joy to tow with it. It just feels really good. It feels really stable and, just kudos to them on their technology because it all works. You plug it in, you push your camper, your trailer brake controller, your TPMS sensors, everything syncs up. It, it, it's very good. Now I know 24 that you can order, a, I think a 24 now, and it's gonna come out with the new half ton interior, which has the bigger screen, has a little bit more horsepower. So there, there is some updates coming, but as far as the technology in this truck, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with the towing in this truck. So just wanted to give you my 
hands-on opinion. You know, if I missed anything, drop it in the comments. You know, I am not a professional. I'm just trying to kind of show what's out there and, and how I use it and what works for me. Um, appreciate you watching the video. Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't done it, and we'll catch you on the next one.